Hi, I'm Science Bob for Stemflix, brought to you by the fine folks at the Northrop Grumman Foundation. Our mission is to have a little bit of fun while we show you the amazing world of science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, in a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to make a sheet of ice that is virtually unbreakable. How am I going to do that? A little something called composites. Now, what are composites? Well, it's what we're talking about today, composite materials. Uh, let me show you. Come on. Well, composite is one material that's made up of two or more other materials. Sometimes these materials are in layers, sort of like this plywood here. All these layers give it extra strength. Or they might be fibers that are put together in a matrix, kind of like this, which makes this even stronger, although it's thin. Now, I know that might not sound very interesting, but composites like this make ordinary materials seem to have, well, superpowers. Uh, imagine you were going to build a house. You might use wood, or maybe bricks like this, or maybe cement. But now the problem is that those can be susceptible to fire, tornadoes, or even earthquakes. But if you take that cement and you add some sand and some rocks, now you've got a composite known as concrete. And that is much less susceptible to things like tornadoes and fires and even earthquakes. You could say it's kind of like uh, something with superpowers. So where exactly can you find composite materials? Well, you don't have to look very far, because guess what? They are everywhere. These are things like baseball bats and golf clubs and fishing poles and surfboards and this bicycle, which is why I can do this. Try that with your old steel frame bicycle. One of the most common materials used in composites is carbon fiber. Now, carbon fiber might be half the width of a human hair, yet it is incredibly strong which is why scientists combine it with other materials to make those materials stronger and lighter. Sort of like that bike I showed you. Scientists are also using carbon fiber and other composite materials to make the products of the future, like artificial limbs to increase mobility. They might even build a car that's so light that it can fly. And it's being used in buildings to reduce energy. And that, of course, is good for our planet Earth. So, what's the secret behind composite materials? Well, most composite materials have what's known as a matrix and a reinforcement. Take windshields, for example. Now, there's glass, that would be the matrix, but in between the layers of glass, there's a special kind of plastic called PVB plastic, and that is your reinforcement. And together, they're much stronger than either one of them individually. Uh, let me show you a little experiment that I think might clear this up. So I told you a little earlier that we were going to make a piece of ice that was virtually unbreakable. Let me show you how it works. First, we want something to compare it to. So we're going to make a non-composite material. Get yourself a pan and fill it with about half an inch of water. Now, take that water and go and put it in your freezer and let it sit for about four hours. While you're doing that, let's get the other one set up. This one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pour some water in there, but then we're going to add our composite or our reinforcement. In this case, it's gonna be a sheet of newspaper about the same size as the bottom of your pan. Just put that in, pour a little bit of water on top of it, and then let's do two more sheets. Now, of course, water and newspaper are not very strong together, but we're gonna see if this one, when it's frozen, is any stronger than just our plain ice. Now, we just put them in the freezer and we wait. All right, well, it's been about four hours and our ice blocks are nice and solid. So, TJ, we got one ice block here, this one, just regular ice. And then we've got our composite ice block here with the newspaper in it. You ready to test it out? Yeah. All right, goggles down. You always want to have your safety goggles. Go ahead and give that first one a hit. Well, that didn't take much, did it? Look at that, lots yeah. of pieces. All right, now go ahead and hit the one with the newspaper. Come on, hit the one with the newspaper. <laughs> you see? Would you ever think newspaper would have made that so strong? Nope. It's like it's got superpowers. Yeah. All right, now that is amazing, but of course you can't put newspaper in a windshield, can you? No. No, because it needs to be clear. So just for fun, I decided to make one extra batch, but in this one I put a clear piece of plastic. So you can hardly see it. It's a lot clearer than a newspaper. Let's see how this one does. This is regular ice, but with a plastic uh, reinforcement. All right, give it a try. Yeah, see, really, so give it another hit. Yeah, you said, now, of course, windshields aren't made to entirely be kept from breaking, but all these pieces stay together. 
and in a real windshield, they're a lot less sharp and a lot safer, thanks to the composite materials. Well, let's hear it for composite materials and future scientists like you, TJ. Well done. That was cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed exploring the amazing world of our scientific superheroes, composite materials. I'll have more experiments for you in the future, so make sure you check back. Until then, I'm Science Bob for Stemflix. Stemflix, brought to you by the Northrop Grumman Foundation. Inspiring our nation's future scientists, technologists, engineers, mathematicians, and their teachers.